Leo, hi. So this is going to be a reading for July 11th through the 17th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Kai is chasing flies. So if you see him randomly passing through here or jumping, that's what he's doing. But he left the room, so maybe not in this room anymore. Anyways, let's see Leo. Yeah, and here's a commotion out there. He's chasing the flies. There's just one that got away. Um, bum. Oi, oi, oi. Okay. Uh, the overall energy for the reading, the moon. I kind of see this energy as things that um, are not or were not revealed to you, where showing up as energies that you weren't supposed to see at a particular time and it might have made things a little harder um, but still I feel like you weren't supposed to know or see certain things uh, which maybe now you do maybe now they're they're being revealed I don't know in the recent past the four of swords the seven of swords the ten of wands we tough uh, period of time. I do see you healing through it. There's definitely an energy of someone walking away. I don't know if it's you. I don't know if it's somebody tied up to you, but someone's walking away made things very difficult in a particular situation. The good news is that I do see healing on your side over that. Um, I don't feel like it's been completed though. It's almost like you healed it, yes, but there's still something that you're carrying with you from that. Um, in the current situation, the Tower, the Seven of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, something's not working out and you're just not letting it go. You know, you're not letting this tower crumble up on top of that. There's something that's definitely, um, I see you putting energy in it or have put energy into it. There's something tied up to you that you gave to. And it's kind of crumbling, it's kind of coming down, it's kind of saying to you, hey, it's it's just not working out. And you're like, no, I refuse to to let this go, I refuse to, to let it slip away, no. So there's a little bit of stubbornness there in terms of you letting something go here. Um, in the immediate future, however, the Queen of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, you're making house with someone here. There's an energy of stability, there's an, an energy of long term. There's something good happening here between you and another energy. Let's clarify. Let me clarify the moon. The two of pentacles, the five of cups, the lovers. Okay. So there's a powerful connection showing up for you in your past uh and it is tied up to regret to pain to all sorts of things and i don't know where you stand in regards to this connection if it's still here physically or not doesn't really matter because energetically it's still here you're still kind of struggling with some energies from there um still kind of going back and forth there you know but at this time with the moon being there it feels like it's it's not even happening at a conscious level for you, where you're experiencing these energies, but you can't quite place your finger on them. There's something bugging you at times. There's all sorts of things showing up, um, but you can't quite pin that to this connection necessarily, you know? Um, hmm. Let's do the Four of Swords in the recent past. Six of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. Something definitely worked out here in a situation. Uh, 
where I'm being shown stability and love and a whole lot of equal give and take, you know, for the situation. Now, I don't know for how long that worked out like that, but the energy is definitely there. And it's been quite healing, too, as it was presenting itself in this energy, this situation. Let's do the Seven of Swords. Oh, wait. The Death card, the High Priestess, the Seven of Swords. And it's like pulling someone out of something against their will. Um, somebody walked away here again not sure who at some point i believe it was the both of you uh it feels like your intuition was kind of dragging you out of it not dragging you out of it but almost asking you to release this situation kind of like let it go let it end let it crumble let's see what happens you know do you trust that if if this is meant for you it'll stay or don't you um it's like you're being pulled out of it. And I don't know how much you gave in to that pull. You know, I tend to see you a little bit resistant here. A little bit like, yeah, okay, I'm going to go. But, you know, kind of dragging your feet, looking back like, mm, yeah, I don't want to go. Like almost being forced to walk out of something here. To the Ten of Wands in the recent past. The Strength card, the Queen of Wands, the Emperor. This was, this was not an easy situation for neither of you. I don't care, again, who left, what happened, who did what. It's shown up as a very difficult situation. Almost like an inner knowing on both parts that this needs that split. But it's not easy on either part. You know, it's kind of like... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, really tough. Really, really tough. Split. Between two energies. Let's do the tower. In the current situation. The Page of Wands, the Page of Cups, the Five of Swords. Well. There's something shaky. There's something wobbly here. There's something... Not... In tune with energies that seem to work for some reason. I don't know what this is. I feel like it's tied up to you. Uh, I don't know if it's around work, if it's around love, if it's around, uh, it's coming in as an energy that's not looking right. It's not looking proper. And you're like, yeah, I know, you know, I'll, I'll let it go. It's fine. I'm not, I'm not, I don't care. But I still see energy being put into it. That's why it's showing up a little bit deceptive. If you don't care, then why do you look at it? Then why do you give to it? You know? And it's not a sense of I don't care, it's a sense of trusting that if this thing, it's kind of like the same as in the past there, where you were being almost asked by your intuition to trust and to let it go, to release it, to see, does it stay, does it come back? What, what does it do if you do release it? It's going to happen. It's kind of the same lesson here, but possibly a different circumstance, and I'm kind of getting that it is a different circumstance to, to test you if you learned your lesson there. Um, are you going to trust that whatever this is, if, if it falls, then it falls, you know, it's not meant for you. Or are you going to keep on giving to it, you know, kind of feeding it little by little to see, uh, let's see if it works. And it never kind of does because it keeps on blowing up in your face and you're like, uh, why? You know, and I don't want to release it either. So I uh, I see this more tied up to your work, um, but it doesn't have to be. Let's do the Seven of Wands. Four of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Nine of Wands. Oh, man. 
Yeah, there's a whole lot of resistance on your side to let something go. And again, I see you in that place where you say, no, I am letting it go. I am, I am. Oh. And it, it it's not, I mean, you do whatever you want to do at the end of the day. But it's not bringing in good energies. It's not bringing in energies that make you feel like, okay, you know, I'm on the right path. Everything's fine. Everything's settled. I feel good about myself. I feel... It's bringing in energies of let's question everything. Let's um, create a thousand scenarios about what could happen about it. Let's do all sorts of things from the mind, especially, which the mind is filled with fear, insecurities, indecisions, limited beliefs, all sorts of things in there that can create yeah thousands of scenarios about one simple thing, you know? And it's bringing in an energy of pushing against things that are organically supposed to happen. And the more you push, the worse it gets for you, you know? Let's do the Seven of Pentacles in the current situation. Oh, Two of Cups, Six of Wands, Page of Pentacles. This is interesting because you are perceiving this energy as something that's good for you, something that's, that's the thing about it. You know, you're, you are feeding it and you are giving to it and you are hoping for it to work out. Now, I don't know, Two of Cups, it could be love, yes. Uh, but it, it could also be something else that's close to your heart that, you know, uh, again, it could be even a job. Um, you've got good energy around it. It's like you created your own little bubble. You took this energy, you got yourself into that little bubble and everything around that bubble there is kind of trying to pick at it and tear it apart and pull it down and just kind of blah. Very similar to the, to the past energies there in terms of what it's asking you to do, to trust. Let it fall and see what happens. Very similar, different scenario. I'm getting here for this, you know? You're being asked to trust and you're having a really hard time with that by the looks of it. Um, the Queen of Wands in the immediate future. Let's see what that's about. Hmm. The Sun, the Tower, the Three of Pentacles. The freaking tower is following you until you trust. You know, what's the worst that could happen? Here, if you let this tower fall, if you trust that things are going to work out. Because beyond this tower, I see something there. You know, there's definitely an energy there. Maybe not the one you want for, maybe not the one you're shooting for with the two of cups here. But there's something here. Maybe a friendship, maybe, I don't know, something else. There's a bond there that sticks, even after the tower falls. Uh, so there's still energy there. Let's do the Ten of Pentacles. The Eight of Cups, the Ace of Swords, the Magician. Ooh, you're asking for assistance from the universe. Releasing, trusting, you know, walking away, dropping your freaking weapons, you know. Stop fighting with this or against this. Just kind of like, okay, let it be. Let's see what happens. That's the magician there. That's you almost asking for help from the universe. And that's that's a good strategy right there. Um, because in all honesty, I kind of see it coming to fruition in the end. Where you do get to release and you do get to trust. Man, that's a tough lesson, Leo. Let's do the Queen of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles, the World card, the Three of Wands. It's like you get to the point of, okay, I'm trusting, I'm releasing, I'm, I, you know, I'm not hanging on to things as much. I'm not, I'm not doing anything. I'm just kind of standing still, just releasing everything and letting everything happen in the way that it's supposed to. Um, and then there's a little bit of a pause. There's a little bit of, I released, it's happening, nothing's happening. What the hell is going on? Did I do it right? You know? Don't get there. Don't get into your... Just allow for that space, for that pause. There's something beyond that too, I promise you. But if you get all caught up in your in your 
brain about it and you're black, uh, it'll not be pleasant and you'll revert back into not trusting. Allow yourself a little bit of a break after you find yourself in that place of trust and release. butterfly I'll release okay I'm doing half that lesson I'm a Leo too so I gotta release too I'll catch you again and I'll uh, I'll put you out there it's raining be careful out there uh, get a rain jacket or something but all right let's see Leo See what the universe has. Six of Wands, Seven of Cups, Ace of Cups. I mean, it's not the first time ever that you trusted and something good came out of it. Uh, this has shown up as being very difficult for you to do, even though the situation may be simple in terms of, oh, you know, I could really release this because it's not it's it's not as close to your heart as the past one shows up to be um not to say that it's not important but it's not that significant like the past one however it's like you see beyond that trust you see how you're here the part where you need to trust and release is here and beyond that there's a brand new beginning and you see that and you're looking at that and it's like, I want to reach that. I want to, I see that and I want to reach it. But getting through to this part of trusting and releasing, that's the difficult part. And I feel like you're in the middle of that. Where it's like, do you allow for things to happen in the way that they should? Or do you resist that? And do you stand in the way of that? Because energies have a flow. And if we stand in the way of that, we're, we're not going to feel good about it. But we still do it because we're humans. Why not? You know, so there's something here and you're being asked to, to trust and to release it. And it's not an easy part. I know that because it, it's not enough to, to say it. Oh, yeah, I trust and I release. Look at that. Me trusting him. We have to really sink in and feel it, you know, that we get there. So good luck with that and hope this helped and I'll see you next time.